Um, we're going to come to your game now. The Patriots and the Browns. They face. The Browns got a Heidi. The Browns went down 45 points to 7. Um, man, I, I watched that game, man. And <laughs> like I said before, man, Mac Jones is passing, man. And um, Ramondre Stevenson. Yeah, like man. He was everywhere, man. Yeah, man. Let's go. Let's and <laughs> go, bro. LFG all day, baby. <laughs> Um, and also, also, I want to point out, like, my guy that's on my fantasy team, Kendrick Bourne, got hey. the highest score in, uh, hey. in, his, uh, in the year. Yeah. So, so he had 98 yeah. receiving yards yep. and 43 rushing yards. But he ran those lines, man. Yeah, man. He, he, did you see, because you're talking about Chris Pastors, eh, that Mac Jones. Did you see that one he threw to Kendrick Bourne between the safety and uh and the cornerback he was covering him bro and then man Kendrick Bourne reached out boom and caught it because remember like against the Cowboys they did their little quick slant didn't they? and um you know Kendrick Bourne like it was behind him and he like fumbled it and then Trayvon Diggs got it and then went all the way so like I, I love the um, I, here's what I love bro I love the chemistry I love the the trust that Mac Jones has in the um in his uh wide receivers at the moment he he hasn't always been accurate at us, but the last two games he has. So this is the second time that the team's put up 40. Um, oh, in a row, this is the second week in a row they put up 40, at least. And also, like, they put up a 50-burger too earlier in the in the season. So, um, oh no, this is not the second week in a row they put up 40, but... Yeah, man, it's, it's, it's exciting, bro. Mac Jones is developing, like, you know... You know, just learning about crypto e and like there's these upward trends. So at the moment, bro, there's like in between like the you know, the level of support and the level of uh, resistance, bro. He's got this upward trend, bro, where it's a high high and then he'll dip and will be a high low, but then he's going high highs, bro, and this is just one of those um those trends, man, where he's high high, man, and let's keep going and this is um I think this is like their fourth game in a row they've won, so there's like some massive momentum me. Eh? Um they've got a pretty massive schedule coming up too um which we'll get into next week like they got, i think they've got a tough one eh? or did it yeah oh no it's a short turnaround they got the falcons so they still got the falcons and they still got the jets which they should win and the jacksonville jaguars so that's three they should be able to like grab and put in the put in the pocket you know put in the bank but then they've also got um the titans <laughs> and who was that they got the Titans and the Bulls twice so those are three games there that are going to be real tough so it's cool that we got a mathematical chance um, but I guess like coming back to the game uh, when you're talking about Ramondre Stevenson um, that, that comes down to the O-line and having um, Trent Brown back at right tackle that's the trade acquisition they got from the Raiders this year um, but man that's, that's, that's amazing it's cool to see it's typical Bill Belichick bro because you know to keep a Browns team to seven or any, any any NFL team to just like one one scoring opportunity um says a lot about the defense humming so you know you, Belichick always goes off his um what do you call them his veterans and sometimes they, they can seem like the, um you know there's a lot of worn out treat on the tires but at the end of the day comes situational footballs they he he knows that they know what's going to happen like they know how to react because you know they've got their the muscle memory or they've gone through their training and they've got the mental capacity at that or mental clarity at that time to look oh here this is this this is the play they're running and we've trained for it so man Kyle Van Noy Jamie Collins Dante Hightower flipping um you know and those three rookies also that they got going on we mentioned two of them but there's this third one bro second round pick out of Alabama um, Christian Bar Barmore, he's the defensive tackle. Keep an eye on him. Also, he's been disruptive as this year. So, um, yeah, man, just humming on defense, playing real solid um, offense. Um, special teams are always going to be like a standout for the Patriots. Um, when you create short fields for the offense to score, and you know whether it's turnovers or special teams. So, yeah, man, like man, I'm loving, I'm loving the Patriots right now. And why wouldn't you? We didn't draw against the Lions. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you know what's funny? I left Kendrick Bourne on my bench. So that was 22 points. wasn't in my... Uh, that didn't yeah, you get left. in for me. I still won the game, though, but 
man, that's I sh- I'm gonna keep him on the my my first team. Yeah, man. Keep him on starting lineup. Yeah, just just so your wheels. He only got four targets, but he caught all four. Okay, and uh, obviously he's the he's the run after catch guy, or he's that um, intermediate to deep for for Mac Jones. Okay, so you know when he does throw it to him, he's gonna get anywhere between fifteen to twenty yards, bro. So keep him keep him on there. I'm just, I'm just looking at the AFC East, and um, you guys are, are, are coming second um, yeah, to the Bulls. So that the that game, those two games of the Bulls, the the Bills, will be good games, man. You you probably need to win those two games. Or awesome. split, split, and um, take out take out the Dolphins and um and the and the Jets. And I think we've already done it. I think we already took out the Jets twice. So. Yeah. Nah, man. Excited as I can't wait. I can't wait to see what the next four games are gonna be like for us. Also.